what is happening you guys no messages here so today i was looking through my phone just like web browsing doing the usual thing you know whatever i'm out and i'm bored you know we got nothing else to do and i came across this one article that really caught my attention here uh it's on a website dualpixels.com and it says right here you can see right here rumor new information on next gen nintendo nx console and look at the date february 27th so I'm usually on the meh about rumors and stuff, but where all this information is coming from is coming from someone that has been right before. Uh, it says right here, the source, Gino, uh, that told you Nintendo will release a Pokemon game that utilizes a full 3D engine turned out to be Pokemon X and Y. So that came true. Uh, told you there would be a new type of Pokemon a new said Pokemon game a fairy type older Pokemon would get new abilities and forms Mewtwo uh, and also the way they're able to evolve even beyond you know another evolution um, and one more uh, told you the PS4 would be capable of producing modern-day graphics on a DX 11 level like Unreal Engine 4 and Frostbite 2 so I kinda believe that a lot of these rumors right here may be true you know again you gotta take it for a grain of salt but honestly i really do believe that these can be true because when i was reading through these they sound freaking awesome to me well a few of them does at least so let's go through this here there's about six so we'll start at one and number one it has a wireless hdmi dongle that attaches flush to the back of the device a user can pull it out and insert it to, into any display with a normal size HDMI output and the device uses an evolved version of the Wii U's streaming tech to display in HD to the TV screen so we already know that the way the Wii U can stream from your TV to your gamepad they're kind of, I guess they're kind of trying to do the same thing but better in a way that I'm thinking like you don't need an HDMI cable anymore is this is is this like what we're like becoming right now because I'm gonna freaking love that to be honest because like I'm tired of carrying around cables man there's just a lot of cables there's cable well, I know that's not really a lot it's just like two power and HDMI but the way I have everything set up and everything like that you wouldn't know that I have a lot of cable management problems um so be able to have like a wireless HDMI dongle from the system to the um, from the system to the TV is awesome as long as I get no lag it says it's an improved version and the Wii U to the gamepad works very well especially when I'm playing like Hyrule Warriors so I'm really excited about that especially like since I don't always have the strength to get up and go change the game uh, when I'm done playing a certain game you know it's 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 constantly like hurting all the time because of my condition so this will help me out a lot because I'll just put the system next to me or something. Alright, number two. Allegedly, the analog controls for movement has small motors in them for full haptic feedback. Meaning, if you control a character and hit a wall, the sticks move away from the direction of that wall to simulate running headfirst into, uh, into it. This can also be used for jerking when firing a gun, taking damage, moving over rough terrain, etc. Now, I don't know if this is going to frustrate some gamers, especially when you're playing competitive, um, or it can just it'll just make it more challenging in a way when you're playing a game or playing against your friends or online. Um, talking about like if I'm playing Mario Kart, I guess, and I run into a wall, the analog stick that I'm pushing jerks and it just pushes back away from my finger or like it just like it's a slight I guess mean, it's just a slight uh, little feedback like boom like that so I, I'm pretty sure that it's not gonna be exaggerated or nothing like that but that is pretty cool I want that to be a feature though that I can turn off and on whenever I choose to um, because there's gonna be times where I just I'm probably gonna get annoyed by that maybe I'm not too sure but uh, yeah for something like that let me know what you guys think about that because I'm curious Number three, it can literally Bluetooth sync with everything, especially smartphone and tablets, to the point where one feature is that it can answer phone calls and display text messages from your phone onto the screens itself. 
so you don't have to stop and answer your smart device. Now, I mean, I'm not too sure about that. I mean, like, that does sound like a pretty cool feature, you know, especially if, um, well, I don't know if it'll, you know, be a, it's not really a big deal in a way because the way I game right now, I have, like, my phone right in front of me, or if I'm sitting in the chair, I have the phone right next, my phone right next to me, and, uh, you know, obviously I can tell whenever I get a message or something like that, but for those who have their phone charging in another room, or if they have it on the side away from them for while they're just gaming, and the system can actually let you know when you're getting a call and a text. So for that, I think that's a pretty cool feature, and I actually don't mind if that's like if that's re really what they're gonna go for. I think it's pretty cool. Number four, all right. Number four, the close the closest in terms of power it gets to is the Xbox One, but an app idea is Wii U times 50 and Vita times 100. The key is that all the tech is exactly the same hardware layout as the PS4 and Xbox One, which then combine it with the OS strong uh, emulation functions and com <coughs> compiler means that any game that can run of a PlayStation 4 or an Xbox One can easily run on the NX with near zero modification to the original source code. That's actually really good for developers, uh, especially if it runs in Android OS or Unreal Engine 4. This is allegedly why Nintendo has given out the dev kits so late. So that's kind of like a response to my other video of Nintendo. Sorry. <laughs> um, as one third party dev put it, it's the easiest device we ever developed for. You can just take your code, compile it, and it works. I really like the sound of that. So I really, that means that, especially for third party support, I know my last uh, other video for Nintendo NX, I kind of, I oh, I wouldn't say I, I bash, but I kind of uh, agree with one other developer because I wasn't sure what was really going on with why Nintendo didn't respond to uh, Moon Studios and all that stuff. But, so I'm really sorry about that. Um, but yeah, this uh, pretty much explains everything. And I like what I'm hearing right now, especially saying that it's, where was it? Easiest device we ever developed for. You can just take your code, compile it, and it works. Really loving the sound of that. That means for third-party developers, this system will make it easy for them to make games for. So hopefully we see a lot more. Okay, especially the power. It's going to be as strong pretty much as an Xbox One. I'm really loving that because that means it'll be a next-gen system. And it'll get hopefully all the third-party tiles just like all the other systems are getting. And it's gonna, oh my goodness, just imagine the exclusives on there. Imagine what Zelda and a new Mario game would look like. Oh my goodness, that's gonna be amazing. I really, really, now I'm like seriously excited and pumped up for this. Honestly, I may just pre-order the NX day one when they announce it with whatever I have. I may just sell a couple systems or something just to pre-order it. But I'm waiting until E3 to see what it's really going to be. Number five, look to Pokemon Go to get the idea of the type of social features that will be in NX that will take multiplayer, AR, and the Street Pass concept to a whole new level. Okay, well, not much to say about that. It speaks for itself, really. Number six, the real strengths of the device is its usability and ease, ease of use developers have to describe to me more than once that it's that it visually and functionally looks as if Samsung and the Nintendo 2DS had a baby in that it looks friendly but unlike what most people visualize a Nintendo device to typically look the operating system named Nintendo OS alone is very powerful and has so many modern features of mobile operating systems today that Nintendo is trying to be very careful in showing it off for fear that it would be mistaken as running Android. It also has a very strong networking functions as it ties into multiple devices and services allowing a very competent and pervasive ecosystem designed to constantly involve the consumers lives. 
Now I can breathe. <laughs> that was a mouthful right there for me. Um, Alright, so let's see if we can break this down a little bit. The real strengths of the device is its usability and ease of use. So Nintendo, we already know, for consoles at least in general, they've always had like, the ease of use um, user interface, you know, just to make for every gamer's lives easier from whether you're uh, 10 or older, it'll be easy to use. Developer has described to, uh, to me more than once that it visually and functionally looks as if Samsung Nintendo 2DS had a baby. Now this, I don't know about. Now, so it's saying that the, the OS can be mistaken, um, maybe mistaken, as an Android device. So I'm guessing the OS and the UI is going to look somewhat similar to an Android device. And it's saying how Samsung Nintendo had 2DS. I'm not sure what it means by that. Does it mean the sleek designs that uh, that Samsung usually goes for with their products? Like you can take a look at the Galaxy S7 Edge, the way that it has like that sleek design and nice shininess and all that. And then the 2DS. Now, is it gonna be a slice of bread again with two screens on it, or just one whole screen? I'm really confused by this. Don't get me wrong, the 2DS is actually very, very comfortable to hold um, if you have the grips that go along with it, that you just connect the 2DS into it, and it makes one of the most comfortable handhelds I've used, literally. If you don't believe me, try it out. <laughs> um, let me see here. In that, it looks friendly, but unlike what most people visualize as a Nintendo device typically look. To typically look okay so it's not really gonna be something that we're used to from Nintendo um, I mean to be honest nothing I mean Nintendo's always been always been about like especially when it comes to controllers the crazy new thing with controllers just like they want to try something ridiculous that no one is trying from Nintendo 64 controller to the uh, GameCube controller to the Wii U, uh, the Wii Nunchuck and Wiimote, to the Wii U gamepad. So we already know what Nintendo is capable of when their mind is let loose when it comes to controls. Uh, the systems always tend to, you know, look normal. You know, they don't look too ridiculous or anything like that. Okay, so it says here that the operating system named Nintendo OS alone is very powerful and has so many modern features of mobile operating systems today that Nintendo is trying to be very careful in showing it off for fear that it would be mistaken as running Android. So the OS is, um, I'm not going to say it's going to look like what a, uh, your smartphone would look like, like if it's running Android. Um, I'm not too sure what it means by that in a way. Hmm. I don't know, I guess we would have to wait until E3 to really know everything, almost everything about it. Um, now for release date, I want to guess, and oh, I definitely want to say maybe by next year, 26, 2017, uh, we might get the system for release, or maybe close to holidays, they'll say. I'm not sure when the Nintendo Wii U released after they announced it. I gotta check up on that. Um, let's see what else it says down here after that, and that's pretty much it um, But yeah, so some of the only few hardware info I know is that allegedly all this stuff All right. Oh uh, right here in the red it says I don't have many details on the device itself But I do have some background for it and some PR techniques uh, they will use for it. A thing to know about this device is that much of its production was started in 2014 and many of the stuff I list here was outlined by the late uh, Satoru Iwata before his passing, hence in the company. The NX is considered the last project of their late president employees since his passing utter a phrase at the end of meetings and during idea brainstorms which is which roughly translates for Iwata. Wow. Honestly reading that man it got me emotional just now. I'm just like thinking now oh, man. That is sad. That's really sad. Now I'm thinking back at Iwata man. That's I mean, I, I shed tears uh, the day that I found out that he passed on. 
it now is just like coming back to me. Wow. So this Nintendo NX is literally for is for Iwata. That's 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 something else, you know. I honestly just by that and you know, especially for someone who was a gamer, for Iwata, who was someone that was a gamer at heart, you know, this was the, his last, his last thing, pretty much. So I really, I'm really hoping that this Nintendo NX really does succeed, honestly. Honestly, I mean, either way, before reading that and now reading that, I was still gonna pre-order the system, and I really have high hopes for it. I really hope it does succeed. Just, just Nintendo, get the games out, give us the games we want, don't come up with new gimmicks I'm changing, you know, like, we, we definitely don't, I don't think at least we need another new Super Mario Brothers, you know, a new Mario Galaxy would be nice, definitely, Mario Kart, yeah, why not, you know, um, we're, we're already getting new Smash Brothers, and a new Zelda, hopefully, um, but yeah, so let me know what you guys think about these rumors. Um, do you think they're true? Do you think this is actually gonna happen? And if they are, what do you think about it? You know, let me know in the comments below. I really am curious. I wanna how I wanna have a conversation about this uh, with fellow gamers. And man, I I seriously hope Nintendo does succeed on this. I really hope you know they go out with a bang at this E3. Seriously. They need to come to E3. No more of these direct videos. They need to be on stage showing this off. And and throwing, you know, tell us all about the features and everything. And then announce a, a few pretty awesome launch titles. And then throughout the year or through next E3, bust out all the games. You know, like more and more big games, especially exclusives, you know. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I just thought I'd read this along with you guys to share some awesome Nintendo rumors. Uh, I hope some of them are true. And yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It means everything to me, and I'll catch you another time, another video. Take care.